In this equation, we have sulfur plus nitric acid, and this is pretty difficult to balance. If you know the algebraic method, or you can treat this as a redox reaction, that might be the better way to go. But we can solve this by inspection as well. Let's try that. We have one sulfur, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. On the product side, we have the one sulfur, two hydrogens, plus these two, so four hydrogens, one nitrogen, and then oxygens. Four plus two is six, plus one, seven oxygens. Let's leave this odd number to last. Let's fix the hydrogens first. We could just put a four in front of the HNO3, one times four. That'll give us four hydrogens and balance those. But the nitrogen, one times four. Now we have four nitrogens. And the oxygen, three times four, that gives us 12 oxygen atoms. Let's fix the nitrogens, and then we'll see what happens with the oxygens. One nitrogen here, four here. Let's put a coefficient of four in front of the nitrogen dioxide. One times four gives us four nitrogens. Those are balanced. And then let's update the oxygens. We have four plus two times four is eight. So that's 12 plus one, 13 oxygen atoms. So everything is the same. We're almost there, but this equation's not balanced. We have 12 oxygen atoms on the reactants and 13 on the products. I think what I'd like to try to do is get this to be an even number, and then that might help me solve the oxygens over here. So I'll put a two in front of the H2O and then update this number. So now for my oxygens, I have four plus two times four. So that's four plus eight, 12 plus two times one, 14 oxygen atoms. Okay, well, we're getting closer, but that also changed our hydrogens. So we need to update the hydrogens. So now we have two and then two times two is four. So two plus four, we have six hydrogen atoms. Let's just fix the hydrogens and maybe the oxygens will work out. That happens quite often. So if I have six hydrogens here, in order to get six hydrogens on the reactants, I need to change this coefficient of four to six. So let's do that. And when we do that, we have to update all of these numbers here. So now I have one times six, that gives me six hydrogens, one times six, six nitrogens, three times six, that gives me 18 oxygens. So if I can somehow get four more oxygen atoms over here, I'll be balanced. So now the nitrogens and the oxygens aren't balanced. We'll fix the nitrogens and then see what we can do with the oxygens. So we have four here, that needs to be six. So let's change the coefficient. Instead of the four, we'll put a six because one times six, that'll give us six nitrogens. So we'll update this. So one times six, we have six nitrogens. Those are balanced and we need to update the oxygens again because the six, it applies to everything here. So for our oxygens, four plus two times six is 12. That's 16 plus one times two. That gives us 18 and we're done. This equation is balanced. So this one is a little bit difficult. There's a lot of trial and error. I recommend you leave the oxygens till last. That sometimes makes it a lot easier. And then just, you have to change things until it all works out. And again, if you know the algebraic method or how to use redox reactions, that might help and make this a little bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for S plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.